The child, according to the Convention on the Rights of Child, is considered 0 to 18 years old. So any, any child under the age of 18, by right, ought to be protected under the Convention. Now, in every country, and in Belize, there's an age of criminal responsibility, there's an age of, of marriage, there's an age of you know, compulsory education, and the question is now, there are few issues here. What are the various standards in terms of interpreting age in Belize? And we know currently that it varies. Different laws talk about different standards. So it's one of the issues that needs to be considered. How do you align the, the age definition in Belize uh, on one side? The other thing is, we say a child of 15 killed a man and people are enraged. Certainly people are enraged any time somebody, somebody yeah. dies, okay? But a child of 15 kills a man. What we, what we discussed yesterday is that Sometimes the story may be told just looking at this particular incident. But the issue is sometimes looking at the bigger picture. How does a 15-year-old end up killing a child? Because a 15-year-old is a child. So, and end up killing someone else. How, how does that happen? And when you tend to go back, if, you were, if the media were to sometimes really tell the story, you go back, you start to discover the kind of life that that child has had who may have been abused and so on. Now, we can't make a judgment on this, and, and that's why I say that it is a standard that needs to be set. But what we know is that all children have the right to protection, um, and it certainly means that a child who has committed a crime or has is in some way a delin delinquent needs obviously to be cared for, needs to be you know, given certain skills, certain counseling, certain type of, of therapeutic care and different things, but, and then finally reintegrated into society if they're not convicted, because it depends on the laws. And if convicted, you know? their identities are never known, because when they committed the crime, they were a child. Well, I think that that's one of, that's one of the, the questions that, that, that is also being discussed here, but it is certainly something set by the standards of the laws in a country. And um, what, we are, what we are attempting to do is to really look at children's lives broadly, understand the full picture, and, and try to see as they go across the life cycle, how can we do to ensure that a child doesn't arrive at 15 years old killing someone? Um, and, and, and when they do, how can we ensure that there's justice but there's justice in a way that the children's rights are protected. I mean, you know, and that some kind of alternatives are put in place so that that child can be reintegrated. Because I'm sure when the child was born, it was never intended that anybody's son grows up to become a, a murderer. You know, that's certainly not on the cards. And it's a difficult thing. You know, it's a, it's a very complex issue. Um, and one that deserves discussion not just by media, but I think by, you know, the human services and, and, and much more to, to, to clarify really how do we manage it.